three, two, one. Hi everyone, we're back. It's Dave and Lee. Hey guys. How you doing? I'm good, you? I'm doing quite well. So, exciting stuff. We both made progress on our projects that we've been working on. Um, did you want to go first or did you want me to go first? Uh, I can give an update. Uh, oh, embroidery gate continues. I have made more progress on these tiny and beautiful and extraordinarily fiddly little Christmas ornaments. Ooh, I like it. Prog Dump imposed Christmas ornaments by Christmas of 2017 deadline. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more this week, and I have five more remaining to embroider. That's it. You. 25 ornaments, one for each day of Christmas. Ooh. Now, are you going to put it, like, one more every day, or are you just going to put it all up on one day? Oh, I'm going to milk this for 25 days. Okay. That's good. Good to know. <laughs> but, yeah. Every day will be a new opportunity to take an ornament from the box. That's good. I mean, I'm glad that you've made so much progress. It'll probably be done way before Christmas. Yeah, I hope to be done in two weeks. That is the goal. That sounds like a good kind of goal for you. Know, like, it's not too quick, but it's not too long. Yes. Yes. Yes, which is great. Um, but anyway, I have made some great progress on what I've been working on with uh, the scarves that I was talking about last week. So I kind of made the pattern, but also I actually knit one of the scarves or I'm in the middle this. yeah it's also double sided um so I'm really happy with how it's coming out um I had to of course the pattern is a living pattern until you're completely done with it done with the project then you kind of review it one more time but yeah so like it changed a little bit once I actually started knitting um I actually realized that the age like everything was a little bit too narrow and skinny so I just kind of I did a row to each side of the H and the metal so it's a little bit thicker so um the color blocking looks great yeah I mean the nice thing is I don't think I'll have to do much like blocking or anything with this once I'm done um I'm probably gonna do tassels on the end um just because I don't kind of like how the ends are so it's a Tassels are a good way of covering stuff up. <laughs> so, um, that's what I'm probably going to do. But I also like that how the edging is coming out. At first I didn't really like it, but it's growing on me. Yeah, the side edging looks nice. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, like it's, I recommend um, doing double, like double sided knitting. It's not as hard as one may think. It's actually quite easy to do once you get the swing of it. So, especially if you don't do something too complicated, um, that kind of lowers the kind of challenge for it. So, but it I'm, does look super impressive. Thank you. Yeah, and like, and also another thing to keep in mind is that it also makes for a heavier um, piece, whatever you're working on. So, since it is essentially two scarves. Like, for the, in this case, it's two scarves, so it is a much heavier piece. So that way, uh, if you want something, like, super warm, but not super big or bulky, double-sided can actually help. It's another form of making something heavier without bigger or wider or longer. I approve. Yeah. That will be useful in East Coast cold temperatures. Yes, very much so. I mean, living up in Boston, well, we can appreciate cold weather and keeping warm so yeah on a not related note i am struggling to find open-toed sandals because in los angeles it's still hot even though it's the end of september minor details mine first world problems first world problems i know right so picking of other speaking of other stuff that we've been kind of thinking about working on um i know you mentioned you wanted to do more spinning and stuff Yes, I did mention I want to do more spinning, and I'm serious about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take some pictures of my in-progress fiber mm -hmm. and 
post that on Instagram and just kind of go through a learning process of each month picking up a new bat of fiber that I already have on hand because mm-hmm. we all know much, and taking a before, during, and after picture just so people can get an idea of what it what a bat looks like to start and what kind of finished product you can get out of it. And then either knitting it or sending it to you to knit up in the second leg of the journey. I, I like this. The, this will be fun. And people should get, like, people should follow along, not just to follow your progress, but also give recommend, recommendations and what we should do in terms of a finished project. Because I think, yeah. yeah. The fiber evolves, it's going to get to a point where it comes to a finished yarn, and I'll say, you have 300 yards to work with, go. I, I, I like this. This is, I feel like this is a good partnership that I can get behind. I can get behind, because then I can spin things and get them out of my house, and you can knit them into something wonderful. Is, is this really just a ploy to get stuff out of your house? Um, yes, and a ploy to see what exciting thing you knit up quickly. Okay, I, I like this. You don't have to send everything to me, but I kind of like this challenge. Just every now and again, just getting random fiber from you. Yep, I will spend the time spinning it, and you will have the same amount of time to knit it into something. Okay, I like this. I mean, I like getting random yarn. I mean, I've been getting yarn box again, so like I definitely like just random yarn coming in, so it's a challenge for me. It will be the most limited of editions. I love it. It'll be great. I think it'll be a fun time. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I mean, I think that, speaking of this, it's a good segue into, like, I feel like I this, this is how I get a challenge out of knitting. It's not necessarily doing something more complicated, um, because how the stuff aren't necessarily the most complicated stitch or anything. It's more of, I find a challenge with making a new pattern or just be like, okay, you have... 300 yards, what are you going to do with this? I think that's what's more interesting to me than doing something super complicated and super difficult in terms of like stitch work. Um, Sounds like I've thrown down the gauntlet and you picked it up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that was also something I've been thinking about like this past week is just like I find it, like I'm much more interested in like doing my own patterns instead of doing something like like lace work or something so yeah i'm interested in having a reason to finish spinning these things now you do yeah i found like i also find it interesting with both of us with in terms of the next step for knit it for like yarn work and knitting is just like you went the spinning way in terms of like more interested and more intricate and i just went like the pattern away so it's like two paths diverging Yep, two paths, 3,000 miles apart. Yeah, I mean, and, but also that shows how much room you can do with with just knitting. You don't just have to just find a pattern in a net. You can do a lot more into it in terms of getting more involved and doing your own thing in terms of knitting. So that's actually totally. pretty, pretty cool. But yes, um, you guys in the comments, let us know what you want us, what you want me to knit, because I always take suggestions, but also... Um, I'm sure we'll be doing a lot more talking about what um, you'll be spinning up, so I'm sure I'll be eagerly anticipating what you show me. Get excited. Yes. Now, do you, uh, speaking of spinning really quickly, do you always do like one type of, like one type of weight, or do you vary a lot? Um, it's whatever the fiber tells me, but it ranges from sport to worsted. Okay. So nothing very chunky or anything, it's all kind of... No, I've gotten past the wonky, chunky spinning phase and have not entered into the consistent chunky phase, so I can mm. only really get the middle bands of weight. Which is great, which I am all for. I mean, I'm, I've convinced myself that one day I'm going to get... Have you ever seen, like, the super chunky yarn? Yes. Um, one day I, I swear I'm going to get that so I can actually make a blanket, but it is, even for yarn and knitting, it is quite the expensive yarn, so it's... It is outrageously expensive. Yeah. But I think that will be a project one day that I will tackle and document and share with everyone, because I think that's a, a fun, it would be a fun thing to do once in my life. It's almost like a bucket thing 
bucket list type of thing for me. It is 100% a bucket list project. Um, because I, uh, it's also something I feel like I would need, like, room for. You know, it is... Yes. And it's definitely, I feel it's a one-day project for me. Like, once I get the yarn, um, I'll figure out how to do arm knitting, and then I will just do it one day and just bang it out, so... Mountain Dew Game Fuel, <laughs> Bucket of Fried Chicken... Gamer style power through, pretty much, and like it. So I, I think there'll be a lot of planning around that in terms of um, doing that, and I might stream it just to see see my progress throughout the day. But that well, is, awesome. I think you should stream it. Yeah, but that's something for the future. Let me know if you guys are interested in terms of like a live stream or something like that. But that's something. I, that's just an idea I'm kicking around right now. So. If they have anyone, please let me know your opinions on it because it's definitely a fun variation on knitting that not everyone does. So I am sold. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So I think that about wraps it up for this week. Unless there's anything else you wanted to mention. Only that I think you're fun. Excellent. All right. Um, I think that will be it for this week, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.